Hey, can we do a quick interview of one of you all? What's it about? We're asking people, we're just going around to random people on the street, and we're asking them, uh, what do you think happens when, when you die? Depends on 200% of what you did wrong. Hell or heaven. Or you just lay in the damn ground. Okay, what, can I ask you, do you, do you think you're a good person? Let you do what's right, and whatever counts, no matter how fucked up it is. So, so, are you, you, would you say that you're balanced? Where, where are you going to go when you die? Uh, damn sure don't want to be stuck in heaven. <laughs> you don't, you don't want to be stuck in heaven? No, because I like to be on the earth defending it. So you rather go to hell? It'd be a better life than living on the wrong side. Well, what's right, heaven or hell? Hell is torture and torment. Heaven is completely church. I just stay on earth. But will you die one day? I ain't planning on it. Well, there's a hundred percent chance that you will die. There's a hundred percent chance that I die. There's a hundred percent chance that I live. No, everybody dies. Sure. But what kind of way? Well, any way you die, you said it yourself, you're going to end up either going to heaven or hell, right? That's what you said? So I'll definitely make sure I come back one way or the other. I just look like me at a different rate. But which, which one will you go to? I'll just go to heaven. You'll go to heaven? Yep, I'll go to heaven. Uh, do you think, do you guys think everybody goes to heaven? Well, it depends on, it depends on which way you go in life, because everything you do, you get disciplined or you get punished. Yeah, so... Depends on if you, if you do your... I'm going to switch to you. you to depends uh, on what Christ tells you to do. On, on who? It depends on Christ. Depends on Christ? Yeah. Yeah. So, how depends about you? you do. do you think you're going to heaven? Yes. Yeah, how do you how do you know? Because I believe in Christ. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well that's that's absolutely it. <laughs> that's actually why we're out here. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're actually out here to share the good news of Jesus Christ. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> but you need a you need to help your friend here. It sounds like you don't you don't know if you're going to heaven or hell, right? I don't really uh depend on heaven or hell, it just depends on uh what it did wrong. Well, you know why You're it's being judged once you get up there. We all we're all gonna get judged. You know why it's Christ that gets you to heaven, guarantee? Because he's the one person that lived a perfect life. Yes. None of us have. None of us have. If you have a stain on your shirt, is it clean or dirty? Dirty. Even if it's just one stain? Yes. That's right. And so none of us are going to go into a clean heaven. It's like if I tried to come in your house with my muddy shoes, if you had a clean carpet, you wouldn't let me in. But I know that you had just have your shoes taken off. I just have you take off your shoes. Now, the house would no longer be clean if, uh, if I couldn't take off my shoes, right? Oh, yeah. So, and that's the thing. Like, sin, sin can't just go to heaven. And this is why Jesus came. He lived perfect yeah. because you and I, we would end up in heaven with muddy feet yeah. that we can't take off. Yes. But if we accept Christ, if we accept what He did, if we accept His perfect life, it's like this. It's like if I owed my heart, right? Let's say I, let's say I did something bad and I just owed somebody my heart. I couldn't live, right? Mm -hmm. Now, let's say you would want to offer your heart to me okay. and die for me. But you can't because you owe your heart to, you owe your heart to, everybody here owes their heart. Yeah. But there's one person that didn't owe it already, and that's Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so even though it says the wages of sin is, do you know, it's death. Yes. That's why we all die, because of sin. Yeah. We owe our life because that's of our sin. God for our sons. And Jesus gave us a heart transplant. Amen? Amen. Amen. So that's it. That's the gospel. Is that it? Now let me ask you, is that something that you want? Yes, it's something I want. 
Yeah, can I, can I pray for you today? Uh, I'm kind of in a rush right now. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I'll just say quick, what's your name? Justin. Justin, okay. Justin. Okay, I, I'm James, and you, and you believe, so let's... Jennifer? Okay, hey, we're all J's. Justin, Jennifer, James. So we're going to pray to Jesus, okay? All right, so Lord, I just pray for this man right now, Justin, God. I pray that he can know today that he can go to heaven, God. Lord, I thank you that you came and that you died and that you lived the perfect life he couldn't live, God. And Lord, I just pray as he's in this rush right now, as he's walking right now, God, I pray that you would walk with him. God, I pray that you would fill him with, his, with your spirit. If there's anything, Lord, in his life, God, that is not pleasing to you, God, I thank you that you can wash that from him, that you're powerful enough to take that from him. God, I pray that you would just give him a new heart right now and a new mind, and I pray that you would give him your spirit, Lord. And I pray that you give him a taste and a hunger for eternal paradise, God. I thank you that you could give it to him, not because of who he is or what he's done, but God, because of you and what you've done, Lord. I pray that he'll trust in you today in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 All right, you guys have a, a Bible or anything like that? No, sir. No. You guys want one? Sure. Okay, I'll, I'll give that to you. Uh, I think I left it over there. <laughs> Um, we gotta go. Yeah, I'll let you guys go. go. Okay, yeah. well, God bless you guys. Where, you. Yeah. I can get a Bob one. Here. Yeah, 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 yeah. The military government of uh, the Future Home Defense. Okay, yes, amen. Amen. All right, let's, uh, let's, let me grab my backpack. We, we, we chased them all the way down Carroll Creek. Yeah, yeah. Maybe find some people that aren't, that are a little bit more stationary. This might be, let's loop around, okay? Hey. Okay. There. I got my mind made up. And I won't turn. Hey, if we have some time, maybe we can make an FCC visit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Serious. right. So I'm on a tour of college campuses. And UMD is what next up? Oh, how is that going? <laughs> it, it possibly can be. It really doesn't matter. Um, but just st standing up for the pre-born, especially in this season mm -hmm. of voting. So. Oh, absolutely. Hello. Espanol? Sí. Ah, muy bien. Uh, ¿De dónde eres? Colombia. Colombia. Oh, okay. Uh, me no habla español. Uh, in ¿Inglés? Salido. ¿Inglés? ¿Anybody? Salido. Oh, okay, okay. Um, we are interviewing. Okay. Uh, for um, Je Jesus Cristo, Jesus Cristo, see, si? yeah, amen, amen. Um, so, uh, Dios le bendiga. Yeah, yeah, de, de nada. De nada. Yeah. Try up here.
Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Good, I know you're eating. We're, we're just going around, just doing really quick. We're asking just people on the street. Um, okay. What do you think happens uh, when we die? Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know, That's big, question. <laughs> big question for a lunch. I appreciate um, it. Well, it's funny you should bring that up when I'm looking at these monarchs in, I believe, the uh, Mexican and Native American traditions. The ancestors come back to visit as monarchs. So I like to think that hopefully we come back as something else um, if we want to. Uh, but I'm not definite on anything. <laughs> Yeah, sure. And would, would you come back as something better? That's very interesting. Would you come back as something worse? Oh. <laughs> well, obviously I want to be better. <laughs> but I don't think that's hard in the animal kingdom. <laughs> Animals don't seem to have the cruelty that people can sometimes have. So I think it'd be wow. pretty easy to come back as something better. <laughs> wow, okay. So if you came back as an animal, it would be an upgrade. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to... Totally diss people. There's plenty of good people in the world, but I, I think that people maybe have to work harder for the capacity for right. kindness sometimes. Right, right. No, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's very good. And uh, yeah, 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 I'm just curious. Do you think? Um, do you think the way you come back is based on anything? Is it based on how you live now? Uh, I guess it would be on your beliefs. Yeah, well, what, how, what, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Uh, can I ask what this is for before I continue? It's really just, um, it's it's just getting people's perspective. It's so interesting. for a school project or? It's, it's, it's not, it's not for a school project. Um, uh, but it's, you know, we have a channel where we ask people questions and you do not have to be on it. Okay. Okay, just so you know, only if you want to. Um, so it is, it could possibly be for a channel, um, but it's just interesting, you know, it's like we all are going to die mm -hmm. and yet nobody knows what's going to happen. Right. But isn't that kind of the excitement of it all? The great mystery? <laughs> you could say that. Uh, some people might think it's nerve wracking. I mean, well, yeah. it's a scary thing to die. It is. Yeah. Would you say you're afraid to die? Oh, I think it's part of human nature a little bit, uh, but you know. Where's your sense of adventure? <laughs> right, no, absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah, no, that's good. So uh, if, you're, if you're living a certain way, would you come back as an ant versus an elephant? Or how does it, how, have you ever thought about how it works? Like, is there a moral, moral component to it? I wouldn't think so. I think it'd be whatever you wanted. Okay, so take like, um, take like Hitler, right? Okay. Okay, he lived a certain sort of way. Oh, mm hmm Could he just come back as a beautiful butterfly just because that's the way it works? I really don't know that one. I wouldn't think he would come back at all. Hopefully not. <laughs> he just, he, he won't come back. He just needs to exist, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. It's an interesting thing, right? It's like we all have a conscience. Mm -hmm. It's like we all know there's right well, and wrong. Well, some people, psychopaths don't. But... <laughs> Yeah, some people, they're, it's like over time, our conscience. Isn't it true, like when we were kids, we knew right from wrong more. We were more shocked by wrong when we were younger. Yeah. <laughs> than, than that. yeah as you grow mm -hmm. older, you just, yeah, you it's like. You the more and you get used to it, yeah. Yeah, you get desensitized, desensitized right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you might have, I just, I just share quickly uh, what the Bible says about death. Sure. Do, do you know how it explains death? Uh, some of it, yes. It, it describes us as wages. Okay. Death is the reward, the wages mm -hmm. that we get. Because, I mean, like, if we're just honest, we've all done wrong. Like, nobody's perfect. Right. And you can, you know, you can tell how serious um, a crime is by the punishment that's given for it. And all of us are getting deaf, at least the way the Bible describes it. Mm -hmm. uh, deaf is coming for us all because we've, we've all messed up. We've all failed to some degree. But it doesn't end there. It says the free gift. There's a gift. Mm -hmm. 
and that gift is eternal life. Um, just And I'll just leave you to, with this. Do you know what God did to give us eternal life? Do you know the story at least? Yes, I know about the crucifixion and rising from the dead. I know all that. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, I don't know. <laughs> a lot of times people don't really get or understand like the legal impl impl um the, the legal connotation. Jesus lived a perfect life. He's the only one that lived a perfect life mm -hmm. in history. And this was God's gift. It's like um, if 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 you need, let's say you owed somebody your heart. I ho hope you would never need that, right? In a way, we all die, so it's like our heart is gone. Let's say I want to give you my heart so that you mm -hmm. can keep living. But I can't because I owe somebody my heart too. And so does the next person and the next person. No, nobody can give you a heart in place of the heart that you owe unless somebody doesn't already owe one in the first place. And that's why Jesus lived a perfect life and gave up his life mm -hmm. and rose so that even though you die, you can live mm -hmm. despite the shortcomings. Does that make sense at least? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I grew up Christian, yeah. I, I'm familiar with it and I'm, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, is that something at all that you maybe still believe in or is that something that you desire in your life? I mean, sure, it sounds great. Yeah, yeah. Is, mm -hmm. is that something you want today? No, I'm good, thanks. Okay. <laughs> I is really it... don't feel comfortable being on your channel either. Uh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, is this something, w would, you, would you think about what we're talking about? Is this something you would give some thought to? I'm sure I'll be thinking about it all day. Okay, okay. What's your name again? <laughs> I'd rather not say. Okay, I'm James, <laughs> and it's good nice meeting you. you. Thank you for taking the time uh, during your lunch yeah. to talk about it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's important stuff. So, yeah, well, take care. Right, thank you. God bless you. This way. Sir, how are you? Good, how are you? We're good. Hey, we're, we're going around. We're just asking people, what do you think happens when we die? Um, <laughs> not sure. Big, big question, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you think uh, it depends on how you live? Well, I, I'm not sure. Okay, all right, all right. God bless. Have a great day, though. You too. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. Sorry, I let you let you through. Is the courthouse this way? Um, is it walkable? Yeah, I mean it's walkable. It's a little. We came from that way, didn't we? We came from that way? Yeah. Yeah, so if we walk back, yeah. I can show you where the, yeah. Are you trying to head to the courthouse now? Yeah, we'll just walk there okay. as we're going. Yeah, definitely is. Yoga, yoga team. This is kind of a short. You could hit your head on that easy. Yeah, you could. Start. There was yeah. 
there was a time a long time ago um, it was like a pouring down rain we, we used to do homeless outreach mm -hmm. out here and they were all under that tunnel because of the rain I imagine and we ended up having like a this prayer time that went on for like two hours right under that bridge it was very very cool All right, let's see. Let's see who we find out here. Some people up here. Do you all be up for an interview real quick? What, what, what would the topic be? What is that? What? what would the topic be? What type of interview? What? Yeah, what's the topic? Well, we're asking people um, just really what, what do you think happens when, when we die? When that we is a question that we will all find out and you know what? We'll never know the answer to it until it happens. So... <laughs> until, but what do you think? I think, um, I'm not sure. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll all find out one day. You can't, you we know, will. You can't escape that one. We will. All right. Have a good one. You too. <laughs> These guys are busy right now. All right, so this way to the courthouse. Well, we actually, I think we won't walk the wrong way, but we can still get there. Oh, okay. Yeah, All right. we, we, we came from that end. I thought we walked from that end, like when I met you. Uh, yeah, we, we walked from that end. Yeah. Yeah, we are further away. Uh, but I think we can... Go this way. Will we start heading there? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Is it this way or is it this way? The courthouse. I know where it is from the post office. That much I do know. Okay. Citizens Way. All right, let's walk on Citizens Way. Which right way there. is that? Right there. See where the 
Oh, right, right down there. here. Uh huh. Okay. Man, I, I would love to just get like one or two um, good interviews here. Yeah, maybe you get somebody walking out of the court. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. I got my mind made up. This is gonna be something right here. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Walking in that police station doing a verbal report. Yes. And uh, telling them, and say, well, where do you want it? Well, I actually want to come pick it up. <laughs> an inspection. I'm here just to, for an inspection. Uh-huh. One of the things you could say is that you have it, if you have it here right now, I'll look at it right now. <laughs> yeah. But, no, you want to prepare an inspection on pursuant to, Maryland, to Article 4 of the Maryland General Provisions Public Information Act bylaws. That, this would be fun. Verbal, though, that's a new one. That is a new one, James. I can honestly tell you that's a new one. All right. Well... Oh, okay. <laughs> Pedestrian right away. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Hey, can we ask you a, a quick interview question? No. No, sorry. okay. You're, you're headed back to work. Yeah. That's a beautiful day. Levi, you've been here before? Have I been where? Here? To the court, yes, to the, to the police department, yes, both places. Many times. None for criminal purposes, I can tell you that much. So what do you want to do? The police department is right here through that door. Board is through that door, people will come out this way. Okay, let me, let me try a few more interviews. Absolutely. I'll get positioned. People will come this way, people will come this way. The exit is on the other Uh, hey Levi, let me... Yeah. Hey, sir, how are you? I'm okay, how about you? Oh, it's a beautiful day. It really is. I'm doing okay. I'm going around, I'm actually interviewing people, but I'm going to change it for you because you look like a man of wisdom. Okay. So, so what would be the best advice that you could give in this stage of your life? The best advice at this stage of my life? <laughs> First of all, I I, I would think you have to be a God-loving uh, person. Amen. Amen. And, and uh, with that, I, I keep myself active. In other words, I've got something to do each and every day. And uh, he guides me, and he sure helps me along my way each and every day. And I depend on him a lot. And uh, he didn't bring me for 90 some years for no reason at all. <laughs> wow, you're, you're looking good. Oh, you're over 90? 
how about 93? Woo, I know, you're walking? Wow, the Lord's given you a lawn life. Amen. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's, I, I guess, about it. And uh, I keep myself very active. When I wake up in the morning, I got something to get up and do. I lost my wife about five years ago. Oh, so, wow. so sorry. So, so I live alone, and uh, uh, and God don't make no mistakes. Amen. That's the other way I look at it. Absolutely. So, I try to live life to the fullest, and I thank Him for it each and every day. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Um, I, I want to ask you, and I, I think I know what your answer is going to be. What? And this is what we're asking people out here today. Uh -huh. What do, what do you what happens when we die? But if you believe in God, God and got your you act to get together, you go to heaven. That's, that's my feeling. Of it. And so, as I get older, really, I uh, I just hope I have everything in order so that. Uh, Whoever behind me can take care of any affairs I left behind, but I have no fear of going home, home to be with God. And uh, and I guess that's that's about it. And I believe in Him every day. I be, I be driving around down the street, and I said, "Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus." And all that kind of stuff. So I guess that's about my motto. Yeah, no, that's good. And it's so the reason we're asking this question is because it's so important, right? I'm sure that over 90 years has flown by just like that. Yes. And you think about eternity, right? How much longer that is, eternity. Right. right. How how do you know, and how could somebody know that they're going to heaven? I feel like if you have a you know, did the right thing, you know? and to me, you, you got to attend church, pray to God each and every day. That's the first thing I do when I get up, and the last thing I do when I go to bed. And and, and that's my God, God. and uh, I I think it's, it's it's really a blessing that I'm still around. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. You still have a purpose while you're here. I'm a I'm a born again Christian. We are doing this to share the gospel of Jesus Christ today. And just to be sure, you and I, nobody on this planet, has lived good enough. I know I have sinned. Oh, of course. Uh, but there's one man who did live perfect. And that's Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago. And the way I've been explaining it out here is say I owed my heart to somebody because mm -hmm. I just, it's like a death penalty. I've made so many mistakes, I owe my heart. Now, you could give me your heart, but now you owe your heart also. And so does the next, per the next person, and nobody can help each other except if somebody didn't already owe their heart in the first place. And that's why Jesus came, lived a perfect life, gave up his life, rose again. And he says, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even though they die. They will live. And this is our hope. This is our only hope. Because I know that I have failed. And um, you're right, once we believe, I mean, if somebody gives me a new heart, I'm not going to go eat bad and, and do things to ruin my heart. If you truly receive the grace of God, He's going to make you holy. You're going to live a new life, a different life. And, and that's, that's what you're saying, right, sirs? You do pray and you do go to church because you, you know you're saved. Yes, yes, I do. Yeah. And, and, and that's my God each and every day. Yeah. And I thank Him for it. Yes, amen, amen. That's good. Uh, what, what, what brings you out here today? I'm waiting for my goddaughter. She's in there doing some uh, legal business. Okay. So I'm just waiting for her. And it's nice, beautiful weather. It is nice, beautiful weather. 
Yeah, so I, I wake up and say, every day God give rainy or whatever it is, it's still a beautiful day. Yes, yes. As long as I have him, it's uh, it's beautiful. Yeah. All right. God bless. It's okay if I pray with. No, you go ahead. Okay. Okay. Well, do that. Uh, I'm just gonna put my hand on you. So, Lord, I just thank you so much for this man. God, I thank you that you have walked with him all the days of his life. I thank you that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. It's the beginning of wisdom. And I thank you that this man knows you, this man fears you. Uh, Lord, I pray for anyone watching this, uh, Lord, that they will come to the same salvation that you have given this man. And I thank you that uh, one day, Lord, one day there will be no more pain, there will be no more tear, there will be no more suffering, because uh, we will be with you forever and ever and ever, because you have conquered the grave. And Lord, uh, just as his goddaughter is doing legal business, I thank you that you've done the legal business to save us. You've done the legal business, Lord, to make us right with you. Um, Lord, and I just pray that you would just bless his goddaughter, Lord. I pray that you would just uh, bless all their affairs and their situations. Lord, I thank you that if we seek you first, everything else will be added unto us. Uh, so Lord, thank you, God. Thank you that you are the compass, you are the light, you are the life, you are the resurrection, you are the spirit that empowers us, you are the path to walk down, uh, you are the alpha and the omega. Uh, and Lord, we thank you. We thank you, God, that you have saved us. We thank you that it is a beautiful day. We thank you that even in the trial, we can have joy because we are being made perfect, lacking in nothing. Thank you, Jesus. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. amen. All right, amen. Uh, <laughs> Hello. Oh, yes, you got we were just we're just doing interviews, sharing the gospel, and uh, oh, okay. he was just sharing us his great wisdom. So <laughs> we just prayed for whatever was going on. So <laughs> that's always a good thing. Yeah, you amen. Have many amen. I'm also, a 30-year veteran in the military, three years and three. Years. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much for your service, yeah. sir. God bless you all. Yes, yes, yes. Uh... Alright, Levi, I guess we could go down there. Where did you park? I guess we could go in. So... Are you ready? You're ready to go to the police station? Just about, yeah. Okay. Just let me, yeah, let me know whenever you're ready to do that. Yeah, that's probably what's next. But maybe we could do a few more interviews on mm -hmm. the way back out. Yeah, if you want to. Okay, so um, let me review here. Um, actually, let me see around what time the first encounter with the police was. You know the date, right? Oh, it's, uh, I'm just glad you reminded me. Well, I'm about to find out. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Let me make sure I got all my dates in order. Let's see. It was on it was on a Saturday, June twenty second. And we got there probably around noon. Uh, June, June, June 22nd. Okay, you're just gonna, am I just gonna stay mic'd in there? Do you wanna put a mic in anyone's face or do you wanna, what do you wanna do? I probably won't. I'll probably, probably won't, probably just wear it? Okay, yeah, yeah. let me clip you. Yeah. You leave it right about here. You'll be just fine. Let me know when you're ready. I'll hop in front of you. It'll door will open and I'll film your walking in. All right. All right. Yep. Just say when. 
Yeah, now? So June 22nd, yep. All right, oh, I'll be in front of you. Just follow my lead. Thank you, thank you. Hi, how are you? I'm here to make a public information request. Okay, for like a police report? Uh, yes. Okay. Do you yes. have a case number? What's that? Do you have a case number? A number? Yeah, the case number. I don't have the case number, but I have the date. Okay. And Uh, June 22nd. June 22nd of this year? This year. Okay. Do you know yes. where? Uh, yeah, it was uh, right along uh, Carroll Creek where, where the road crosses through the creek walking paths. Okay. Well, do you know what type of incident it was? There was a few. Okay. There was a few and I want to report those. So. Okay. Do you know if they've already been reported? Not that I know of. Okay. All right. Well, let me take a look. Okay. Okay. Can I re can I request? I'm going to request body cam footage. Yeah, that's fine. I want to make. I want to look up the case case numbers first for you. That way, we have something to reference. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. So I'll just wait here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much.
Oh, sorry. It's okay. Um, so there's a few incidents that happened in the downtown area that day. Can you tell me what this is specifically in reference to? Because I believe that was the, there was a festival downtown. So there was a lot going on down there. Sure. Yeah. Um, well, I can, I can just list off uh, the, the few that happened to me. Okay. Uh, so I would just say first and foremost, I definitely want the body cam footage of Officer Alger, 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 I think it's 432 is his badge number. And um, I was physically assaulted by him. He pushed me about uh, maybe five, ten yards. Okay. Uh, and all I was doing was praying for someone. Okay. So that probably happened around, I don't know, maybe 2 p.m. Okay. But I'm definitely going to request the body footage of that. And I'm going to get Duran's body footage of that incident as well, that because I know he was pointed towards me when that was going on. Okay. I think he's badge five three two. Okay. Duran. And forgive me. What was your name? My name. Oh, I, I I don't need to give it. You could just put good citizen. Okay. So I believe to make a copy or not copy. Goodness gracious to request the body cam footage. I think you, you have to do that online, but I, I think you can do it anonymously if you don't want to provide your name. I, but I could do it here as well. I can get the body cam coordinator. I do believe he, he needs it submitted online, but I might, I might not know that for sure. So yeah, no, you, can, you could come and verbally request it. If you just write down okay. what I need. I'm gonna get him for you because I don't want to give you any wrong information. Okay. Sure. And regarding police reports, is that something you're interested in as well or just the body cam? Um, no, well, yeah, there's a few things. So there's some body cam footage, uh, there's some police reports, there's some other information I would like to get as well. Okay. But that's okay, I could wait. I could wait for the body cam person. Okay. All right, well. We are slow today. I was, um, you work here? No, I'm not working. Oh. I'm just report story stuff. Oh, you filing a report? Yeah, I want to report. Well, oh, okay, like a traffic report. No, no, no. no. We someone, someone stole my, my wallet from my pocket. I was driving Lyft and I gave them service and then I picked up different people. So, okay. at, the, at the end of the when I get out from my car to go home, and there's no, no wallet, and I couldn't find it at all. Well, I don't know how long I'm going to take. I was, uh, I was assaulted by police for praying, and um, they're taking a long time giving me the footage I need, so. Is there something I can help you with? Yeah. Okay. I just... Uh, trying to report stolen um, wallet. Okay. All right. Let's see how quick. Let's see how quick they they can do that for you. Okay. Sir, my associate is going to get Mr. Tyler Hill. He's with our body cam unit, and I'm probably going to have to get a supervisor for you if you want further from that, okay? Okay, just making a public information request. That's fine. Okay, great. Yeah, I was... Yeah, I was... Uh, <sighs> I was driving Lyft. I give service, and then I was wearing a raincoat yesterday, and then I, my wallet was here, and then uh, they sit down behind. Like, I picked up, like, some of the people are driving. And then I don't know who did it. And then at the end of when, when I try to. Do you know the last place you saw it or the general area that you were? Well, this is from like uh, that pick it up or picked up this uh, request, uh, pick up. I mean, I accept request, pick up, and then go home. Yes, I just want to give it this. Um, and uh, this one also, this one also. 
Frederick. This is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sunlight, Dilma. This kind of wallet. This is my ID copy, and as I stole in my ID also. We just. Okay. So I'm gonna go to MBA now. If you want, you can hang on to all that. Worst case scenario, tell them, well, hey, okay. I'm here to, I'm requesting an inspection. Okay. Preparation for an inspection. Right? How you doing? How long it takes? Because I have to go to MBA. I talked to one officer there. What's your telephone number? 240 797 8107. 07. 03. 03. No, it's not. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll have someone out here just as I can. Okay. Mm. Sorry that happened to you. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Very, very sad. How much money did they get? Uh, sixty-eight dollar. Sixty-eight. Yes. Sixty-eight dollars. Okay. Sixty-eight dollar, and then my ID and uh, your credit cards. My uh, it's debit. Two, debit. Two bank debit card. Oh yeah. And then did you did you turn your debit card off? You turn that off? And, uh, yeah. Big, yeah. Okay. Big bank good. No. They know. Yeah. I you would. just call them and they'll turn it. He can't use it if it's off. He yeah. can't, he'll never be able to use it. Yeah. 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 You're good then. You're okay. He will never be able to get your bank. Yeah. That's good. You uh, you a believer in the Lord by any chance? Of course. Okay, yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. It's my fault, you know. The, the jacket is not like tight, and I was not intention to drive that yesterday. And then I said, let me drive once away, and then I decided. But usually, I don't put in my pocket my wallet, so. Well, you know, if somebody stole from you, yeah, it's, it's not your fault. Yeah. You know what's great though is uh, God is a perfect judge. Of course. It's great and not great because uh, we would all be in trouble if we got what we deserve because mm -hmm. we've all mm -hmm. we've all messed and, up. They just give me tip. They take mm -hmm. mom. <laughs> yeah, right. I know what you mean. Yeah, you know, lift does not pay you good, but this, on the top of that, this I really I couldn't sleep the whole night also. Oh wow! Especially my document, you know, the man is around sixty-eight. Yes. Well, well, God, God will help you. He's perfect and just. I already report for uh, lift also. Just they should, they should, they should re return sixty-eight dollars to yeah, lift. They, lift should they, be able to give exactly. it back to you. They have to. Yeah, they they should give it back. Yeah, they should. The they problem should is, see, we give service here. Mm -hmm. When you call, someone is from India. Mm -hmm. or oh yeah, China, India. China, they pick it up. Even you cannot understand them when they talking to you. Yeah. It, it's that's what happened to me last night. It's just a lady, she's from India. And she told, she told me, oh, oh, we're gonna give you, we're gonna email to them, we're gonna give you your phone number. Oh, don't give them another mail entity, no, don't, don't give them anything. Yeah. All you have to do if you email to them to return to at least my document. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You you live in Frederick? Yes. Oh, okay. Almost twenty years. How many? Twenty. Twenty Since years. Two thousand five. Oh, okay. Wow. Where are you from? Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Yeah. You're from Ethiopia. Yes. Oh, I want to visit. Really? I. Oh, e you. E Ethiopia is my number one place to visit. Please go. Yes, it's one of the first. Um, that's one, do you know it's one of the first Christian nations ever? Yes. And it still is. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, it is. God, God has blessed Ethiopia. It remains, it remains true. So I want to visit.
Ah, that's great. I, ha I would have no idea you're from <laughs> Ethiopia. That's wonderful. Yes, beautiful people. I do, I do. It's my number one place to visit. It's very true. Yes. When do you, will you go back? They know, like you, they are like, they want to go, they are like, you know, they, they do everything. Some people, they don't know where is Ethiopia. You know, so many, like, the coffee is the first planted in Ethiopia. You know that? Thing? What is? The coffee. Coffee. The coffee. Yeah. Oh. It's planted the first time in Ethiopia. They found it in Ethiopia. Oh, wow, yeah. wow, I didn't know, okay. Yeah. Wow. I still have an officer come out. Okay. I don't know if somebody's been dispatched yet, but I, I can check in a second. All right, I talked so, to someone. I'm I spoke with the body cam gentleman. I just need you to either provide a phone number or an email address for him to send the footage to. I will, I will come back. I could come back in 30 days. Okay. And it's, a, it's an inspection, and I'm not done requesting what I need to request. Okay. Yeah. You could also put it on a thumb drive, yeah, you know, do like a thumb drive payment, James, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just come, you, they have 30 days to issue it and then so I could come back. No, I don't want to give any information. I could just come back. Okay. Did you want to make a complaint or speak with the supervisor or anything like that? I just want to actually just have the information to 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 get i want to be able to give that to request that information okay because i i i try to help yeah without some more specific information from you it's like i said there was a lot going on downtown that well day. Can, can i give it <laughs> well, that, that's why i asked your name and what would you like a case but you don't you don't, you don't need that Oh yeah, we're shooting a video on Just, that. I, I can file an anonymous request and I could come back in 30 days. And okay, then, so I can make sure we're, just so I have a documentation somehow, you don't have to give me your name, phone number, email address, anything. If you could do, help me out a little bit, if you could fill out either this section of the form where you the type of incident, location, involved officers, that way we have a documentation of what exactly you're requesting. I, I can verbally give it, and if you could so write, you're it not willing to write it down. What if I can't write it? What if I, I mean, I don't, I don't even want to be in here. I mean, I've been physically assaulted by the police that work here. I just want to be able to give the information. If you can write that, and then Take it up the chain, whatever you need to do. I'll be back in 30 days. Okay. So Good. June 22nd. June 22nd. Carroll Creek around South Carroll Street or South Market Street? Uh, yeah, it's that road. I believe it's South Carroll. Okay. The one that has a bridge that goes over by the old Frederick Post. It, it, it doesn't. There's not a bridge there, but the road literally crosses through where the creek, the creek is. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's Officer Alger, or Alger, and he... Officer Duran as well? Officer Duran was right there, and was, I mean, somewhere around 2 p.m., maybe a little later, maybe a little earlier. I mean, Officer Alger was around me okay. for most of the afternoon. Uh, stalking me, and then he physically pushed me okay. when I was praying for somebody. Okay. I, I mean, it's on. It's definitely on camera, and, and it's on Duran's Duran's body camera as well. Okay. All right. And you don't want to speak with the supervisor and make a complaint. Well, can I finish? So, I, uh, Officer Alger also had his phone recording. Okay. Uh, so I want direct. That's a public record now because that was on his phone. Okay. So I want any pictures or video. I mean, you might want to write this stuff down. I'm listening. Okay. Uh, any pictures or videos from June 22nd on his phone? Okay. I want to gather that as well. Okay. Also around that time, on officer, I want Officer Duran's body cam when he gave me the imaginary line that I could not cross on public property. Okay. Definitely want that footage. Okay. 
then Okay, then Lieutenant Corbett, I think it was badge number 12. So earlier that day, I could tell you probably a, a little bit after noon, a little bit after 12 p.m. This was a couple blocks down from where the road intersects between the two paths at the creek. Okay. Uh, so it was a, a little bit after 12. I want the body cam of Corbett, badge number 12, when he told, uh, when he told me uh, that uh, we could not share the gospel okay. because of time, place, and manner laws, because people are eating outside. And that one was around 12, mm -hmm. 12 o'clock, okay. And the incident with Alger was at 2 o'clock? Maybe around there, maybe a little bit later. I, I, I'm not as sure about the time with that, but it was a few hours later. And Alger and Duran were pretty much stationary for hours, uh, just following me around. So before I was physically assaulted, he, um, I was illegally trespassed uh, that I, I couldn't express my religion on a public property. Um, so I definitely I want the body cam of Alger for that. So probably around 1 p.m. Okay. And Duran. The incident where you where you trespassed, like you they presented you with a form, or was it a verbal trespass? It was yeah, it was a verbal trespass. Okay. I was not allowed to walk in public because of my religion. Okay. I want the, I want both of their body cams for that that conversation. And it was, so it was Officer Durand, Sergeant Alger, and Lieutenant Corbett. Those are the three that we're looking at body cams for? Not during, uh, Corbett wasn't there yeah, for the trespass. I, I want to make sure I have everybody. Uh, uh, yeah, so far, yep, those three, those three. Um, let's see, what else? Um, after the assault, uh, I do want the body cam of Corbett, it's probably whatever time that was, three or four. Mm -hmm. uh, I definitely want the body cam where he specifically said um, that there has been no complaints made by me. Okay. Uh, so I, I, I don't expect there to be an incident uh, or at least a complaint called in about me because I want the body cam where Corbett said that the owner of the event that day, whatever it was, uh, made no complaints about me. Okay. They just restricted me from public for whatever reason. I, I, I would definitely want the body cam for that. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, I would like to get... Um, I'd like to get the salaries of those three officers. I will be honest with you, I don't know how. Um, you, you, it's just public information. I realize that. I'm, yeah. I'm familiar with that. Um, I don't know if that's something that we act, like we provide to people or not. Um, you, but I'll, I'll make Yeah, you definitely do. Just write it down. They'll, they'll give it to you. They'll give it to you. Continue. Okay. And um, let's, let's see, what else, what else? I mentioned the, the phone, Alger's phone. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, that's good. And um, I, I gave you Duran with the line. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I didn't have a problem there with anyone but those three. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think, I think, I think that's about, I think that's about it. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, honestly, just probably that footage from that, that, that time period from 12 to 4, whatever it was, especially of Alger, um, probably all that footage. Uh, there was a lot happening there, so yeah, and yeah, so I'll 
I'll be back within 30 days and Okay. Um, I'll grab it from there. I'll get this to the body cam guy. Okay. All right. Thank you. Good. All right. Okay. You guys have a good day. Yeah, me too. You might want to get a filed copy of whatever she files oh, for your record. She's you about to file something. Yeah. Get Perhaps get a copy of it. If you want to, it's up to you. She's yeah. going to file something right now. I'll get a copy, a copy of it. They can ask her if you can have a copy of whatever she's about can, to file. Okay. Yeah. Because she's about to file something, then you get a return copy on that that copy is filed. Okay. Is that what that means? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you get a record that something's been filed. So I, I can't take that. That's up to you. You do whatever you want. But yeah, no, that's good. Yeah, if you want. Okay. She's going to file something. If you want to. If you need a, just to have an officer call you, I can have them do that, and then you can provide those screenshots to them. They have to so nobody Otherwise, how do you know she filed something? Thank you. I know. Sure. I don't have anybody that's available to speak. Can I get a copy of the file request? Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. It'll be it'll be a couple of minutes though, okay? Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Well Well that that was uh that was a little hard. That was, you would think after uh, pushing me and discriminating against my religion, they would just uh, just say, we're sorry, sir. Here's the information. Instead of a cold stare. And... All right. How you doing? Good. Good. Uh, I, I didn't push anybody. I don't know why... Uh, I hope so. Why they're the angry ones here. Don't don't wanna have a bad day, don't don't push people. Continue. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> want all my they always want my information. Done nothing wrong. So oh. I guess you have an appointment in 30 days from today. Yes. Mm. See what they got. Maybe come a little earlier, see if they are quick with it. Right. Uh, based on based on this appointment doesn't look very quick, but <laughs> things aren't quick. They were certainly quick to violate your rights. They were quick on that. Yeah. You know it's not a crime to preach the gospel at a pride parade? Uh, no. I know that. I'm actually very aware of that. Uh, do you have a First Amendment? Yeah, just yeah. because there's a parade. And it protects speech and religion. Uh, both of those things. There's actually, there's five tiers. And speech and religion, those are two separate tiers. Yeah. So. Not a, not a. And you have the right to peacefully assemble. So, it's, I mean, you guys did, um, I mean, technically, you could have covered four elements of the First Amendment out there. You could have covered speech. You could have covered religion. You could have covered assembly. And you could have uh, covered petition your government slash redress grievances. But yeah, there was even some press. And, and even there was some press. And, right? and there was some, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could, have, you could have um, maybe hit all five. It's, I mean, but, it's, it's, not, it's not illegal in this country to pray for someone. Mm -hmm. I should be able to pray without getting shoved, without mm -hmm. notice, 10 yards back. Oh, yeah. So, hopefully I'll... Do their job now and get the footage so that I can pray in peace. Pray in peace.
looking for the copy machine, I guess. <laughs> looking for the copy machine. She's like, oh shoot, I never wrote anything. <laughs> no, because she'll have to, she's got to, she'll follow something. And then, I mean, you know, you got to, it's the only way you'll, your mic isn't in your back pocket, is it? You're not sitting on it. No, I mean, you're not sitting on the mic back, I mean. No, I tried to, okay. I tried to avoid. I was making sure that you didn't like put it yeah. in your back pocket and you accidentally sat on it. Or... Salon trip. Lawn trip, lawn wait. Mm -hmm. Gotta get as much as you can, I guess, while you're here. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know, I, I, I wouldn't have come here if they just discriminated against my religion. I knew, I, I let it go, you know, it was... Yeah. Hey, I'm a Christian, I can't walk in public. Okay, all right. But when you shove me, when you mm -hmm. shove me during prayer, yeah. it's just not safe. I didn't even know, I didn't even know who was shoving me. Mm -hmm. My eyes are closed, my head is bowed. Yeah. It'll show it on the body cam and, I mean, for all I know, just a random person was shoving me. Mm -hmm. so. Someone's sorry to walk through. Yeah. have to get out of here soon. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully they come up with something. I think we've yeah. been here 30 minutes. Well, all she's got to do is give you a form of what she's filing. Uh, did she, what did she, she wrote things down on? Is that what she was doing? I, I didn't see much. I didn't see much written down. Hmm. Hope, hope, she, hope she, hope she has it all.
can't see you. I, I, I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, I don't know. All she should be doing is handing you a copy of what you just wrote down. I made it on it. I Make mean, sure it's date stamped. Dude, you gotta be date gotta have a date on it. How do you know? Otherwise, a date stamp return copy of the of what's been followed. Of the request. No? Yep. Yeah. I mean they they spent hours following me around mm -hmm. on a Saturday, but now I, I can't find anybody. <laughs> Where is everyone? Kind of, kind of crazy, following a, a preacher around. Yeah. You think there's some other stuff going on, going on, and Frederick? Yeah. Definitely. Wonder, wonder how much they get paid to follow a preacher around. Must be worth it, whatever it is. Oh, and you can get salaries. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you can. You see, you know, I don't know if you can get that. Yeah, yeah. you can get that. Right, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Chill now. This is what I have. That's your copy. Okay. Um, do you need anything else from me? Uh, I'll see. How about a cam? Um, um, I think, I see, you're just going to get all the footage. Which is great. That's fine. Okay. Uh, it might be a little bit after four. I think okay. it, it'll be clear from the footage. I'm wearing a back. Until five. <sighs> or... May I mean maybe I, I just I don't know if they're allowed to use use discretion. I'm okay. I'm the only person out there with a lawn sleeve shirt on. Okay. A white lawn sleeve shirt. Okay. Um. Just so there's no confusion, do you mind if I just stretch it to five? Sure. Okay. So I will, that will be, he'll know what I, I see it here. Do you want me to just write it on your copy and initial it? Or do you want a whole new copy of this one? Uh, no, that's, that's fine. You switch it to five. Okay. Um, you have the phone on there. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure of that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's simple. And just, I, I, I know you've already mentioned this, but just to verify, are you not? Are you willing to leave an email address just in case our, our body cam technician has any questions? Um, I I might check before the thirty days just to see if it's ready and okay. it you know and then yeah I could I could possibly if if he's around or she and willing to talk then I can. Okay, I I'm not sure if he's here right now. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'll just leave it the way that it is. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. Yeah, great. I'll be back. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. All your patience. Yep. All right. All right. All right. I was, uh, <laughs> I was. I was about to ask for her salary, but <laughs> right. I felt she didn't cross the line. She didn't cross the line. 
there. Right. She was close though. I was about to ask her her salary at the end. So. That would have been uh... <laughs> And then you ask her, can I get that one? Can I get that? Is my, you think I'm allowed to be, get to get that one? <laughs> yeah. It sure is allowable. Yeah. All right, Levi, was that, was that new? Was that new that for was you? Good. That was good. That was original. I have not seen something like that before. That was interesting. That's my first public information yeah, request. Yeah, that was good. And hopefully my last. Yeah, that was good. Because I really could care less about um, running into police. No, I that was great. That was, uh, wait till you watch that back later. I think you're really going to enjoy this. Uh, yeah, no, that's good. Let me, um, yeah. let me, I, I left my backpack here. You want me just to follow you to your car and see if we yeah. can squeeze in one more interview? Sure, sure, sure. Two? Definitely. Yeah, we can. Appreciate your time yeah. today, Levi. Oh, this is good. Um, How good is this? Yeah. Conti the title of that video, Continue. Right. <laughs> Continue. That was, that was the, uh, the frame shot there. She was so passive aggressive, but it was um Right. I don't know. We're going this way? Yeah, we can walk. We got perfect timing. Oh, okay. How are you? Would you be up for a quick interview? It's uh, it's we're doing like a good person test. Would you consider yourself a good person? I guess, kinda. Depends on the day. Dep depends on the day. How about today? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but in general, would you consider yourself a good person? Personally, yeah. But yeah. subjective question. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Right. Would you mind if I ask some questions? To sure. see if that's true. Okay, okay I appreciate it. Uh, how how many? Let's see. How many lies do you think you've told in your life? I don't know. Probably at least over a thousand. That's I think not. That's pretty honest. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, what what do they generally? Um, what do they generally call somebody who lies? A liar. So, what would that make you? A liar. I, I, I know it's a little awkward, but... No, it's fine. You can be a liar and a good person. Depends on your motivation and your intention. There's, it's, again, subjective. It's a multifaceted question. Yeah, I mean, sure. Like, I think there's a line where it's like, somebody says, hey, am I fat? And you just, you're using discretion to say, hey, I don't want to offend you. Yeah. I think that's different than, I guess what you would say, bearing false witness. Yes. There can be like a malicious lie. Okay. And yeah, and so you've given malicious lies before? Rarely, but yes, everyone has. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Um, have you ever stolen anything? Yes. Yeah. What would you call somebody who steals? Depends on their motivation. Okay. Um, have you stolen with a wrong motivation before? Typically, no. You can steal from large corporations. You can't steal from people. Uh, but you, like, somebody could steal your wallet or... See, if you can steal from large corporations, it's called collecting back taxes. You cannot steal from individuals. That's called being shitty. Have you done the latter before? Stolen from individuals? No, not unless I dated them and then it's just a hoodie. Oh. But you earn, you earn that. Okay, okay. Well, how, think back to when you were a kid. Like, did you ever steal anything when you were little? Yeah. Like five dollars from my mom. Yeah. So, what do you call somebody who steals? A stealer? I don't know. We we would call him a thief. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, so so. Okay. What would what would? A thief. Yeah. So you are. A thief. Uh, 
a, a lying thief. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, have you ever taken God's name in vain? Just, just a yes. couple more. Yeah. Uh, do you, Do you love your mom? Yes. Would you use your mom's word, mom's name, as a curse word? Yes. Really? Yes. Okay. Have you used your mom's name as a curse word before? In similar context, yeah. Uh, you are the first person I've ever heard. So if you stub your toe, do you just go Dolores or whatever your mom's name is? No, it's, again, it's all about the intention. Like using your, it's all about the inflection you use. Anything can be a curse word if you're using it in a negative way and with negative connotations. Same thing. So have you, have you used God's name in a negative connotation before? Yes, but that depends if there's a God. No, absolutely, absolutely. If there is, uh, pretty serious, pretty serious uh, crime, um, okay. most people wouldn't use their mom's name as a curse word because mm -hmm. they love their mom and they wouldn't use their mom's name to express disgust. But if there's a God, then we've uh, dishonored that name, uh, the one that's yeah. given us life and a mom and all of that. Okay, so last one, appreciate you bearing with me. Um, have you ever committed adultery before? No. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, this is... An... I'm not married. I've never seen anyone married, so no. So, so really fascinating, and you might agree or not, but uh, Jesus said if anyone has looked lustfully at someone before, it's like they've committed adultery in their heart. Oh, so you're talking about that God. Okay, well, that's different. Have you ever looked lustfully at someone before? Yes. So I'm not I'm I'm not judging you. Oh no, it's fine. I'm an atheist. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, so let's say let's say there's a God, just as a big if, right? Uh, and this is for you to just think about yourself. You've told me that you're a lying, uh, thieving, adulterer, a blasphemous adulterer. That <laughs> sounds that sounds bad, right? If there were a God and he judged you by that standard, would you be innocent or guilty? Um, if there is a God, I believe it is not one that is going after the commandments written by man. He probably has his own specific criteria for what is and is not correct and not. So I don't think it's very accurate to put it on someone from, I don't know, 20,000 years ago? and let them make that choice, when if there is a God, isn't that, you're, you're not supposed to um, bear false prophet, right? <laughs> Same thing. Yeah, no, no, right, there, there shouldn't be false prophets. Now, let's say, let's say there were a God and that were the code, that, were, that would be God's code. Would you be innocent or guilty of that code? Innocent. You just admitted you broke four of them yeah, but Jesus died for our sins for us to be forgiven, right? Yeah, no, so no. at that point, would God judge you if you truly repent? Because with the Catholic or um, Christian God, he would not judge you if you repent at any point. So oh. so, so given, given your beliefs and whether or not you've repented, today, would you go to heaven or would you go to hell? I would go to heaven because God is a forgiving God. There's like 12 million hymns about that. So at that point, as long as you repent and you mean no false uh, negative intentions or will to hurt others, then I truly believe that God would be a forgiving God. Yeah, no, for sure. So you're saying you, you've, you've done that. If you were to stand before God today, you would be forgiven if God's yeah. real. Yeah. Really? Okay, okay. How long have you been Forgiven? How long have you been? It's it's an everyday occurrence. Yeah. And it doesn't need to be spoken into it. If there truly is someone who is all knowing, then they know your true intentions. They know your feelings about things, and so they are able to forgive. Yeah. Yeah. So so you you do believe you believe in God and you've. No, this is theoretical. This is like talking about the Easter Bunny. Oh no! I got you. So, yeah. So you know, like the Easter Bunny, he brings us eggs. Sure. So let's bring it. Let's bring it to you. Let's bring it to, not, 
let's say theoretically there's a God, those are his rules. Now let's bring it to who you really are and you really, if you stand before a real God today, given your beliefs, would you be forgiven or not? Yes. You would be forgiven? Yes. But you don't believe in God, is what you're telling me? No, I believe in science. Okay, okay. I believe religion is great to make people the best version of themselves. It helps them get a moral compass, but it is not required. Okay, so, so you don't believe in that God? No, but my family's religious and it makes them the best part. Some of them, it makes them the best version of themselves. And if that coping mechanism helps you, then go for it. Yeah. No, gotcha, gotcha. And I understand you don't believe, so. No, but the whole point of God is a forgiving God, that's the main thing that out of all the millions of things he said, that is his main thing. So therefore, in like every religion across the book. Right, no, I, it, it, I got you, I, I'm understanding you. He is a forgiving God, yeah. absolutely. And a human was born with sin, so at the end of the day, isn't everyone going to hell if we go to those strict, rigid rules? Is, is everyone going to hell by those rules? Yes. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I know I am if it's just by those rules because I've done all of those things a lot and I haven't met a person that hasn't done those things. Now, real, real quick, do you, know how, do you know from that story how you can be forgiven? Do you understand the story of God's forgiveness? Roughly. It's a lot of people kind of know it, but they don't know the legal part. So Jesus There's legal about it. Legal is government. Well, well, think about it like this. If I murdered somebody and I go to the judge and say, "Judge, you're forgiving." Just let me off. The judge might be forgiving, but he wouldn't be just. That'd be a corrupt judge if you just let murderers and rapists just go. But isn't the same thing with confession? If you confess to murdering someone, the priest will not do anything because they are bound by their confession. Is that un does that make all priests unjust? Well, confession is important. We should feel bad about what we've done. We should say sorry, but we need something more than that. And here, here's the big part. Uh, we, so the belief is Jesus lived a perfect life. Mm -hmm. He didn't lie. He didn't steal. He didn't blaspheme. Mm -hmm. He didn't commit adultery. He just associated with those who did. Yeah, he, I mean, he, is, he walked on the street with everybody. In fact, back then, all the super religious people, which are really just Pharisees, they wouldn't even walk on the same side of the street as a leper because they thought they were unclean. Jesus came and walked right on the same side of the street. The people that were considered the worst in society loved being around Jesus, and yet Jesus was perfect. And he lived perfect purposefully so that he could pay the fine that you and I owe a perfect judge. You've lied, I've lied, you've stolen, I've stolen. We all owe. The Bible says that sin is the wage, the death, death is wages. Death is what we owe for our sin. That's why you die and I die. But Jesus came, lived perfect, gave up his life so that you don't have to die ultimately for sin. You can live forever. And so it would be like, let's say you owed your heart to somebody, right? Let's say you had to rip out your heart and give it to someone. The only way you could keep living is if I gave you my heart. But let's say I owe my heart to somebody and he owes his heart and that person owes their heart. Everybody already owes something so we can't help each other. This is why Jesus came and lived perfect. He had a heart to give and he, he wants to give that heart to you so that you can not die and not uh, pay the price that your sins deserve. Does, it, does that at least make sense? Mm -hmm. And the logic of it? Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's the story of the gospel. Um, and so the Christian gospel. Right, exactly. So the reality is, if that God is real, you would stand before that God and say, I didn't believe in your sacrifice, I didn't want that gift, and you would face whatever punishment that your sins will face. And I, don't, I definitely don't want that for you. I want you to live forever. God loves you. Okay.
and died for you. And uh, it, I'll tell you this, is this something you would be willing to at least think about? No. Okay, okay, yeah. My family's Catholic. I've had these conversations. I am very aware, but realistically, I do not believe in fiction, personally. Okay. A book of fiction, at least. Yeah. You believe Jesus was a real historical Je figure. Yes. Jesus, most likely, based on historical events, existed. All of the tales? Who knows? Yeah, sure, sure, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, he was definitely a real person. He divides history. It's 2024, 2024 AD. Uh, so he is definitely a central figure. Um, that's just a historical fact. Uh, the question is whether or not he is who he said he was. And if he is, it's so important. So, I mean, we're here today and we're gone tomorrow. This is going to go by so quick, you know. And, um, man, if there's a heaven, I mean, wouldn't you want to know? Wouldn't you want to know? No, not really. It wouldn't affect the way I live. I make my decisions based on my own moral conduct of what makes me think I'm a good person and look myself in the mirror and be proud. And I believe regardless of whoever, whatever multi-god facet there is, no one's that important. Uh, explain that. What do you mean by no one? No one's that important. We are all ants on a teeny speck. We could all be a fever dream of some three-year-old who's sick. You don't know anything really has meaning, so you must put your own meaning. You should look into absurdism. Look into what? Absurdism. If we're going to go back in time, philosophy can tell you some of the best hints. Without giving you cold hard, this is the only way you should do it. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, if, uh, I'll, I'll leave you with this. I, I appreciate the conversation. Thank you so much. Uh, if if uh, somebody were being raped on the corner right now, would you try to stop them? Yes. Why? Because of my own moral conduct. And it's not even God's do unto others. It's don't be a dick. Yeah. Say the rapist disagrees. Say his moral conduct is, I think rape is good. He, he's just an ant just like you by some three-year-old dream. Yeah. Why is an ant like you telling another ant how to live in some three-year-old's dream? If you look into absurdism, it'll tell you. Oh, please tell me. I, I, I don't you under... You define your own meaning. There is no meaning, so you pick your meaning that addresses best to you. So why, why would you try to stop somebody else's meaning? Because if... at the end of the day, do you want to go through those experiences? You cannot understand because you're not a woman of how those situations feel, but they're pretty fucking shitty. But if we're going to take your worldview for real, your meaning... Nothing really matters, but it matters to the individual. Even in a fever dream to where no one's real, it matters to the individual. So why tell that individual, that rapist, that he's wrong? Because everyone has their own moral conduct. And my moral conduct says that's wrong. Not everyone agrees, but it's also the same thing as, you know, it's okay for priests to not have sex with women, but they can have sex with little boys. Because by Bible, that is, that is acceptable. Do you think that's acceptable? No, ab well, exactly. I know that's not acceptable. That's the difference. I know you're just attributing meaning when it really doesn't matter. That's, but that's, that is absurdism, sir. Right, and so it doesn't really make sense. If you really believed what you said you believed, mm -hmm. you wouldn't stop the rapist. Because it's just, it's ultimately meaningless, right? Everything is meaningless unless you define your own meaning and then it has intrinsic meaning just to you. Even if you are not real in the whole grand scheme of things, your ideas and the cognitive function and whatever way your brain connects with your synapses makes there have meaning to you to survive. Right, and so the rapist, he's chemically fizzing thoughts that rape is good. He's an ant just like you. It's all meaningless. Mm -hmm. If I'm taking your worldview for real, I'm going, man, that's just an ant in a meaningless world. I just walk on by. And that's where your own personal moral compass comes into play. Nothing has to matter unless you give it meaning. But, 
but nothing does matter. There is no meaning. You're just making it up. That is nihilism. Up. You're getting your philosophy confused, sir. So, what is rape ultimately wrong? How about, let me ask you that. That is based on moral compass. Personally, and vast majority, yes. But the same thing could have been said 100 years ago about being gay. So, yeah, so objectively, is rape wrong? Is, is there some standard... You can ask an objective question on an opinion. That's your opinion. That's, see, that's the opinion. There is no cold, hard facts in any of it. Okay, so rape ultimately is not wrong. It's not a fact. That's what it you're telling me. It cannot be a fact. An opinion can never be a fact. So this is, this is what I'm saying. I, I just want you to hear me. Mm -hmm. Without God, you're left to rape being wrong is not a fact. It's just an opinion. But you, I'm telling you, I, I want you to hear this. You don't live like that. And the reason why is because you were made by God. You have a conscience. You have a soul. You know things are right and wrong because you're made by God. And it's like, it's God's like fire alarm telling you that we need help. We need a God. We need someone who's good. Not somebody who rapes children. Somebody who's good. And we need that. I need that. You need that. And let, there's a lot of lies. There's a lot of craziness going on in this world. And we get really confused if we just listen to anybody. Yeah. And anyway, I just, you know, I don't know. I'm going to pray and hope. You just think about it. Um, I, pre I appreciate you talking to me. And I, 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 love, I love your spirit. I love your, uh, I love your personality. I have this conversation every Thanksgiving, so. Okay, you're, you're a real, real one, and I appreciate that. But please think about it. All right. Thanks, Leva. That was at least an engaging, engaging. Yeah, that was, uh, that was wow. Yeah. I think starting with, are you a good person? Yeah. It tends to work better with, then, hey, what do you think happens when you die? Uh, wondering what happens when you die has become taboo. Isn't that funny? Yeah, I know. I know. We're not allowed to talk about it. Crazy, I know. Nobody knows what's happened. Whoa. That was a good one, though. That was, that one was at least, uh, Watchworthy. Yeah, say. that one was. Um, I, I mean, I, I couldn't hear all the best, but I'm, um, you know. No, we had some good stuff today. Yeah, we had some good stuff. You have a kick editing that um, that police station situation. Hey man, how, could I interview you real quick? Are you working? I'm working, bro. What's the interview? For? Real quick. Uh, well, so you you believe in God? Uh. I believe in a higher source. Yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure, right? I mean, there's got to be something higher than this, right? Yeah. There's got to be. So, so what, what is your higher source? What is that higher thing that you're looking to? Um, like, what, what do I mean by my like higher source? The creator of everything, like, guides through elements, through matter. It guides coincidences, or it, not he, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. So, uh, we're here today and we're gone tomorrow. Life is short, right? Um, do you, do you go to your higher power after this life is over? You can live in your higher power now, and then after your lifespan, your human physical body is, you know, shedding in your spirit. You either elevate or stay in a cycle of this lower realm that's it okay do you think uh do you think you will come back to this earth in another way mm. i think there's different earths or like different vibrations to this earth so yeah it's possible like i could ascend and still be on a higher vibration but still be on earth i believe in that yeah, yeah. No, for sure. Yeah. So, man, we, we, I think we're, we're, we're similar, right? Um, just definitely a higher power. Yeah. 
and that uh, that higher power can live within you yeah. even now on earth right uh, I, agree. I I have a higher power called the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit is is that God that higher power living inside of me mm -hmm. and that's what I think we're all longing for right and uh, and it's true you know people don't realize this but when people say heaven, yeah. they're talking about a brand new earth. A brand new earth? Yeah. You're saying like there's elements to the earth. There's, yeah. there's, they, heaven actually looks a lot more like here than, than not like here. Yeah, I believe you, like, you create your own reality. So it's like you can create your heaven on earth or your hell on earth. So I agree yeah. with that. Yeah. yeah. So let me ask you this. Are you living heaven? Are you heaven on earth or are you living hell on earth i'm living heaven but source tests me a lot and gives me a lot of hell to see if i deserve to have heaven in my next life i say okay uh, let me this last question do you think you deserve what are you deserving today are you deserving heaven or hell what are you earning today i mean i'm doing my community services today so i think i'm heaven okay today maybe maybe not yesterday but today right yeah yeah. Uh, heaven. Yeah. Well, um, so, you know, so, wait, so think about it like this, right? Like, let's say I commit a crime, mm -hmm. but man, I do community service mm -hmm. the next three months. I've still committed a crime. Right. I still need to pay the penalty for that crime. Uh, a crime is a crime. You do the crime, you do the time. Uh, We've all done crimes, right? I mean, have you ever lied before? Yeah. Ever stolen? It's been a while. Yeah, ever looked lustfully at someone before? I've had moments. Yeah, 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 so, so, and, and this is, that higher power is so perfect, that standard is so high, we gotta look just logically at the standard and say, man, just, I'm not deserving at least that much heaven on earth mm. but I'll tell you this what if this what if that higher power became like you what if that higher power lived like you live but did it perfectly like Jesus yeah and said and said I'm showing you the way hmm. and then that whatever that power was put it inside you so you could do it too I believe sources in all of us we either choose to flourish that or not some people just root themselves in basic human stuff like alcohol drugs stress gossip anger or you can change you got to work on yourself that's that's what i think higher self is like you doing your own work to better yourself to reach new levels of yourself yeah 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 uh what do you think it takes for somebody to flourish what what is that what is that? Uh, oh, I know what you mean. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shadow work. What is it? Shadow work. You gotta, you gotta face everything you don't like about yourself. All your insecurities. You have to come to acceptance with them at least. If you, do, if you can't change them, at least accept. Them.